Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mostly gentlemen. Mostly between the age of 18 and 24. Most of you not subscribe. Why? I know why. Because it's too hard, too difficult to press the little red button that says subscribe. Which, by the way, is free and it costs you nothing and it will bring me and this channel a little joy and happiness and a Hey guys, this is Bluestack 5.5 Full Review. Also, I have the honor to introduce the OK and So game. The rules are simple. How many times the stupid says OK and So in this video? Count with me. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is, of course, open our browser and we're gonna write best Android OS for PC. First thing that you have to do here is look at this top 10 and uh, wonder why is Bluestacks on the first place in a top 10 Android operating system article. Bluestacks is not an operating system. Dear person who wrote this article, Windows is an operating system. Chrome OS is an operating system. Prime OS is an operating system. Linux and its hundreds or thousands of distros are all operating systems. Bluestacks is an emulator. In computing, an emulator is hardware or software that enables one computer system, called the host, to behave like another computer system, called the guest. Emulation refers to the ability of a computer program and an electronic device to emulate or imitate another program or device. An operating system, OS, is system software that manages computer hardware, software resources, and provides common services for computer programs. So now that we got this out of the way, now we open again the browser, and this time we will search for Bluestacks. And we go at bluestacks.com, obviously. And here, what we want to do is click on view all versions. Okay, and we have for Windows 11, for normal Windows, for nobody cares. And Nougat 32-bit, Nougat 64-bit supports Hyper-V and Pi 64-bits beta. Beta. We're gonna click on the last one. Okay, so here up in the left corner, we see P64 and of course the Pi logo. So we know that we are on Pi, latest version. Now, before we start with this, let's talk a little about Bluestacks X. Okay, so they have 73 games here, so you may find what you need, like Call of Duty or Free Fire, Mafia, whatever tickles your nose, but it all depends on your internet speed and my speed, my internet speed sucks. So this is what you have to do in order to fix this. You close it, you go in control panel, why the, why I have logic okay, you go in control panel, you go at uninstall a program and press on uninstall. Okay, so this fixes the Bluestacks X issue. Now, another thing that I can do is delete the icons, delete this, and just connect the task. Okay, so now we are here in Bluestacks. What can we do? Uh, here in the settings, you can set your cores, RAM, high performance. Here you can enable high frame rate if you want up until 240, but I have a 60 megahertz display, so it would be stupid to do this because I will see no difference. Enable vSync if you wish, but what I really like, what I really like to do every time when I install Bluestacks is to display FPS so that I can see all those 10 frames per second when I get a headshot. Uh, me. 
I'm the one who gets the headshot. I don't make headshots. Okay. Save changes. Display. Okay. Here by default is at uh, 1600 uh, with 900. But because I have a full HD display, I go to full HD. If you have a 4K display, I mean, if you have a 4K display, I don't think that you're using Bluestacks. 240. I like the yellow one. Save changes. Okay, that's stupid. Restart now. Because this you have to do it also with the graphics and I don't know what else. And you should be restart for all. But anyway. Again, settings. And now we go to graphics. Here I, I prefer with OpenGL. Also OpenGL and hardware decoding. Here depends very much on your device. Don't, don't try to go for best graphics, maximum resolution. Uh, no, just try to find the best performance, even if you have to go in 720p or lower. Okay, something else. Uh, hold up. No, 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 no. Again, we start cut. Okay, so let's talk a little about all this from the right. Full screen audio and you also have the shortcuts control shift up control shift down if you are for example in game here is to lock the mouse inside if you stay on small screen if you go full screen then it's obvious the mouse is there here key mapping very good key mapping okay so now we have the macro manager and contrary to what other people think this is not a screen capture or screen recorder tool uh, has nothing to do with this this records actions clicks sequences i don't know how should i call them but for example you start a game like PUBG or free fire and before you actually start playing you need to collect your daily rewards you you have to click all the ads away so you can record all the clicks that you do and then when you start the game you can just play this macro and it does all this for you and also you can import macros from other versions like bluestacks 4 and so on okay or syncing and here to clear some ram it's like you press on this and then it frees up memory here you can install apks that you don't find in the app store and so on okay this is the shared i guess it was yes the shared folder with windows okay by default bluestacks is on landscape but if for any reason you want to make it on portrait you make it from here i don't know why would you want to do this but in the end it's your problem this shake thing i don't know i i also don't remember what this meant in in phones in some apps uh, this with the shaking but if you guys know about this you can say it in the description i have no idea i never shook my phone i didn't need it to shake the phone for whatever reason okay here's location echo mode in case it gets too heavy too hot or whatever and here multi instance manager it's another important thing as you will see in the video, some games work better on the older version. For example, if you install Call of Duty on this version, it will tell you that it runs better on Nougat 32 or 64, was it? I don't, I don't remember. So what you can do from here, you create a new instance, fresh instance, and see, Nougat 32, 64. I will not do this now because I don't remember exactly uh, which version was the, the right version for um, Call of Duty. I have to install first Call of Duty to see which one was it. So I will go on with this after I install some games. Okay, so I have here some games already. But first we need to talk about Call of Duty and PUBG New Estate. But I forgot to show you guys something at performance. Initially, I showed you the high with four cores and memory high with four gigs. But you can also press on custom on both of them. And if you have like 16 gigs of RAM, then you can give half no problem. Like me in this case, I gave eight gigs of RAM because I have 16, so it's okay. 
and you can also set the cores if you have more i set here six as an example but from eight i will go with four it's also good enough save changes course restart now call of duty we recommend playing this game on a nougat 32-bit instance of bluestacks please view the article to learn more and here if you don't understand it from this video you can view article and here you have all the details first of all i will delete call of duty from here and i will create a new instance with a nougat 32-bit we go here down at instance fresh instance nougat 32 you can also have nougat 64 if some games work on 64 press on next again you can select however you want landscape okay here i leave them both and download okay now it's done technically now you have two blue stacks start and you can stop the other one Okay, that was Call of Duty, and now we're gonna talk about PUBG New Estate. You just open it, and guess what? Black screen. Now to fix this, and pay very careful attention because we have to do exactly what we did with Bluestacks X. We're gonna click on it, hold click, and then uninstall. Because you cannot play PUBG New Estate on Bluestacks. Not yet. And I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, but what about all the videos on YouTube that how you can fix this with black screen and blah blah blah. Yes, I know everything about all these videos and it's a special term used to explain this. It's called the power of editing because obviously none of this is real. So stop wasting your time with searching for solutions because there are no solutions, not yet. And as you can see here on the support page from Bluestacks, they clearly say that at the moment PUBG New Estate is not playable on Bluestacks 5 due to some restrictions from the app developer. That's it. End of story. Let's move on. Winner.